Hey everybody, I am back here with another video. This is going to be, so if you watched a, a previous video on my channel, um, I recently took a trip to London, England, and during that trip to London, um, my husband and I, we made the two hour train ride trek out to Pool, so we could visit the original, so I could visit <laughs> the original Lush shop. For those of you that don't know, Lush is a UK based company. They started over there. Um, they had a group of original founders that came together. They had a cosmetics to go business initially, and then that went under, and from that sprang Lush. And they their first shop opened in Pool, and they actually still work there. It's really kind of amazing. So when I was in Pool, I actually saw the back of Mark Constantine's head, and I saw Rowena. Um, also as well, and they, the shop people were telling me that Helen was also upstairs. So all these all these years later, and even though they are multi, multi-millionaires, I'm telling you, they are still there at pool, working above the shop, you know, in whatever kitchen or lab they have up there, inventing and coming up with things. I, I was beyond Florida. I was fangirling so hard, it was crazy. So what this video is going to be is just me talking a little bit. I'm going to do a Lush UK haul from the stuff that I just got. And then I also took video clips when I was in pool. It's not all Lush um, Lush video clips. Some of it's just like pool and what was going on over there. So I'll put that at the end of the video. Um, actually, I'll put that in the middle of the video and then I'll do the haul at the end of the video. When I was there, I did go to the Lush spa and it was amazing. I got a treatment called the Spell. And for that one, like you pretty much keep your clothes on. You just take off your shoes, your socks, roll up your pants. And it's mostly like a foot treatment. Um, they have like a bath ballistic that they made especially for the spell. It's volcano. I think it's like volcano, but it's in a bath ballistic. And they do like, you know, they exfoliate your feet. They put the bath bomb in there. Then they do like a temple massage and the reflexology. They have this great soundtrack that's playing. It was so good. And I wanted to do that because I'm not a spa person. I didn't like want to get naked or anything. And so they recommended that one. And I didn't want it like a facial. So I was just, oh my goodness. The whole experience was just so amazing. So anyways, if you guys want to watch the clips of Pool and of the Lush UK shop, stick around for this part coming up next. And if you want to see all the stuff that I bought from um, the UK when I was there and brought back over my suitcase and everything, then stick around for the very end because I will put the haul at the end. But the whole experience was just so, so good. That Lush pool shop was just so cute. The um, this, the uh, salespeople were just so, so nice. And like I said, I can't believe that they're still there working. It was just quite amazing. All right, you guys. So stick around for the clips of pool and the shop. So here I am on the way to Pool to go visit the original Lush shop and we're in Waterloo train station. It's like a two and a half hour train ride to Pool. And check it out, there's a Lush stop here in Waterloo train station. And it is so small and so cute. Look, oh my goodness, it's tiny. It's a lot of Lush packed into very small square footage. So, so cute. Three pounds for a bohemian. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do a British accent. That is the cutest Lush shop I think I've ever seen. Adorable. So here I am inside the Lush shop. There's a 29 and a half High Street pool. This thing is so cute. The very first Lush shop and the Lush spa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Super World Unknown? I've never heard of that. Oh, I want to get some stuff here that I can only get here. Look at this. I haven't heard... Decent? I think a lot of the Lush Kitchen items are here too. Yeah. Oh, the soaps. Henna. So, so Probably gonna get some stuff to take back with me. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to get that. Soak and float, I like that one. Godiva. Oh, this is so cool. Back to the Lush Spa. Let's look at the ballistics, as they call them here. It's the first Lush one I ever tried, the Tisty Tosty. Man, this is so cool. I'm gonna be buying some stuff, and then my husband's gonna have to carry it around, because I'm not gonna carry it. He'll carry it. Super cool. 
So they had a cancellation, so I'm actually gonna get a treatment here at the Lush Spa. I'm gonna get the spell. Reflexology. Sweet. Look at this stuff. Awesome. So I'll be back here in a couple hours. So here it is, the outside of the Lush Shop. I've actually went in and I came back out. But I saw Mark Constantine in the shop with well, the back of his head. He was down there while I was talking to somebody. And I saw the back of his head going up and I was like, wait a minute, I know I know that guy. I don't know him. I've seen pictures of him. That's Mark Constantine. Holy crap. And Rowen is working here today too. And Helen. It's crazy. I'm like fangirling over here. So we've walked down the street a bit and we've reached the key. Or as Americans like to call it, the Quay. Q-U-A-Y, but British people pronounce it key. And there's like a little pottery shop down there we can go to. It's just like a really nice seaside town here. There's like a big harbor, not like right here. I think I got there. Um, so I was like whispering over there by the Lush store because there was a guy there giving me the weird eye. But I guess Mark Constantine, Constantine? Mark Constantine, he had come down to ask the um, the Lush, uh, the staff guys and girls down there about some ideas because he needed inspiration because he was making a perfume for his sister. So him and Rowena and Helen were actually upstairs at that very moment creating and working. That is just beyond awesome. I cannot believe that. That is just so cool. I was kind of hoping he would be there. I didn't actually think I'd get to see the back of his head. <laughs> Too bad I didn't have my camera out. I'm not about to like bug him. I mean, I know he's got better things to do, but yeah. This is pool. A little bit of pool right here. I'm in the Lush Spa. I don't know if I'm supposed to be filming. So here I am now at the train station, waiting for the train to go back to London, but man, I'm telling you, that uh, that uh, treatment that I got, the spell at the Lush Spa was amazeballs. That was so good. So anyways, um, oh, and I did see Rowena, uh, one of the Lush founders at the Till, I'm so British, um, when I was checking out, she was just standing there talking to one of the uh, sales associates. She was like, dressed real nice, um, wearing a lot of like gold and white clothing. I thought it was her, didn't want to say anything when she left. They were like, did you recognize her? I was like, oh, that looks like Rowena. Yep, and it was. Anyways, I have got myself some goodies um, that I'll probably, when I get home, I'll do. I even got like the CD from the spa treatment, tea towels, and all sorts of stuff. So anyways, when I get home, I will probably add, you know, edit all this together, and then I'm going to go through all the stuff here next, one by one, if you guys want to see it. And I think that is it. So this is me signing out from pool. So welcome back to the video again. Now this is going to be the haul of the stuff that I got from Lush. So starting here, that I've had this in the front the whole time, these are just some of the reusable bags that they sell there that you can only buy there at the shop. On this side it says Lush 29 High Street Pool. And on this side it has just like a picture of, um, of what the shop looks like. Let me put the camera up a little bit so maybe you can see it a little better. Yes, and then this one just has what the, the shop looks like. And it lo does look exactly like that. They have that one street that says 29, and that one does say 29 and a half. So, yeah, I thought that this was really cute. So I bought a bunch of these, and I'm actually going to take one to the um, my local Lush shop. I don't know if they're allowed to accept gifts, but I'm going to just give them a bag like for the shop, um, you know, if they want it, because I told them that I was going to go. Also at the... Also at the... Uh, the 29 High Street, they sell these tea towels which I think are really cute. So it also is just like the outside of the shop and I got a couple of these as well. It looks like there's a lot of writing along the outside, which I didn't read. It look, I see cosmetics to go, et cetera, et cetera. Oh yeah, it's kind of like their whole story. So anyways, I got that. I also did buy the, um, the book about cosmetics to go uh, when I was there as well. I know they're on sale in the States, but I got that when I was there and it was a really interesting read and for anyone that would be um, interested in getting that. Okay, so let's start off here with some just products that I just bought. This one is something that they obviously has been around for a while, Retread. I got this over there, and the reason... I'm leaving the prices on if anybody wants curious what it costs over there. And the reason I got Retread over there is because it costs about twice as much over here in the States. I think it's like $35 if you buy it from, um, you know, in the USA. And over there, you can see the price there is 10, uh, 10 pounds, 25 pence, which is around $17. So it was just incredibly cheaper. I love retread, so it was worth it for me to buy this and just haul it back in the suitcase. Although, to be honest, I probably should have gotten more just because it's just so much cheaper there and I don't have to pay for shipping since I brought it back myself. Um, a couple other things I got. Now, these are kind of getting into the newer products, and I believe 
I don't know if these are available yet from Lush North America. I can't remember if they are or aren't. I haven't been to Lush, um, my local Lush, in a little bit. This is Defluff. It was about 10 pounds over there, so $17. This is strawberry shaving soap. I actually got this for my husband because he absolutely loves, uh, what is it, Prince. And the people there were saying that this one, they a lot of people think this one's better. And a lot of men, like, don't want to try it because it's strawberry scented and things like that. But they say that it's actually just, you know, like, really, really good. And it is... It's very light um, if I pick it up. not It's not very light, but it feels lighter than the Prince pot does, I would say. And that's what it looks like in there. And it does smell like strawberry. It's like strawberry with a slightly soapy smell. Slightly soapy, clean smell. So that's Defluff. And uh, like I said, I don't know for sure if this one's available yet, but I may try that out too, um, just on my legs to see how it is. But So anyways, my husband is going to try that one out. I got a couple bath ballistics, not many. Now this one that I got was not on sale at the pool shop, but it was on sale at a Lush shop on a Regent Street. And this is one that was made especially for the UK called May Day. And it was, um, I think the, pro the profits from that one went to an organization that was like helping to, um, helping uh, badgers. And this one I think they say is like a fennel and sherbet scent, but I'm not sure because I don't think it's on the website anymore. Maybe. I don't know what fennel smells like. It smells good. It smells like kind of creamy and sweet. So I really do like that one. I wish I had gotten more, but you know, I just, these bath ballistics are hard to, um, you know, bring back in the suitcase. I was trying to pack them and make sure that they were all like, okay. The other one that I got is one that, like I said, I'm, I know it's coming to the United States. I don't know if it's here yet. And this is Granny Takes a Dip. And it's the one that looks like this. And this one is um, ginger, pepper, and lemon. And I think just think that is so pretty. Yeah, it definitely has like that ginger pepper kitchen kind of spice smell. So it's definitely like an energizing one for sure. And the reason I didn't buy a whole bunch more of these was because I knew it was coming to the United States. So I was going to be able to get it eventually anyway. Oh, a lot of these products really are. So those are the only two bath ballistics I got. Um, I did get a couple moisturizers here. So this one here is African Paradise Body Conditioner. And what this one is supposed to be is kind of similar, I believe, to like Rose Argan. And there's the price there too, about 20 pounds. And I think it's supposed to be similar to Rose Argan where you put it on in the shower, you kind of let it soak in for a couple minutes and then you rinse it off and pat dry. So I thought that this one was interesting. And I absolutely love, love how it smells. It smells floral, but not too floral. Very just fresh and clean kind of floral scents. I don't know. I really like it. It's definitely less potent than a uh, Rose Argan body conditioner because that one, you know, obviously has that very strong uh, Rose Jam smell. This one is a little bit more subtle, I would say. So African Paradise. So I'm definitely excited to try that one out because I really do love Rose Argan and I love the idea of a body conditioner versus body lotion. I think it's really interesting. Okay, another body lotion that I got was the the new Charity Pot. This one is for the Black Fish. Uh, working for the oceans and you guys probably all know about charity pod it's um you know every single bit of profit minus the tax you know goes to the charity that is that is listed here on the pot now the original charity pod had a smell that was supposed to be like chocolate or something i really initially was not a huge fan of the original charity pod smell i've gotten more used to it but i was excited to see that they did come up with another one because i think a lot of people were turned off by the smell of the original charity pod and really wanted to buy it, you know, because it was for a good cause, but just, you know, um, yeah, just didn't like the smell. So that's what it looks like. So I don't know if the consistency is still the same. It looks pretty similar to what the original one does. And this one definitely has a nicer smell. My nose is a little stuffed up right now, but it smells like powdery floral. It's just, it's really nice. It's definitely a lot less potent than the original Charity Pot. So I don't, like I said, once again, I think this is coming to the United States. It may already be here, but that's the new charity pot. Now, if you are a fan of the old charity pot, you can see this one here is 12 pounds or 13 pounds. This is the old charity pot that is now being sold as formerly known as. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cute. So there are definitely people out there that like the original charity pot. So they decided to keep it around. And you can, if you read this, you can see it has a sweet floral and chocolatey fragrance. That is exactly what the original charity pot was. Um, if I open it up. Yeah, that's the original Charity Pot for sure. Oh, sorry, it's on my nose. So I don't, like I said, once again, I don't know if this is in North America yet, but if you do like the old Charity Pot, do not worry. Just buy this formerly known as um, 
That is the original one. Okay, I got a couple soaps here. So I got this one here, was new to me at least. It was called Magnificent. And I got it because it has such a fresh, bright um, smell. So I looked it up and it has like dried mango in there and then it has like lemon oil and mandarin oil. So you can see like it's kind of all like super, super, super fresh and super energizing. So I'm trying to bust into it here. There was another new one there that I wanted to get. It smelled very kitchen spice kind of scent and I didn't get that one, but here we go. So this is, um, what was this called again? Magnificent. This is what it looks like. So I think that's supposed to be like dried mango is kind of what's in there. It smells divine. It's very citrusy, but you can tell there's something else in here. I, it's like a citrus, but it's like a citrus that's not like a normal citrus. It's very complex and kind of interesting. So yeah, if you guys kind of like those kind of scents, I would definitely recommend this Magnificent. So um, I got that hunk of soap there. I also got this here. They have like a new sun, they have a new skincare line that's like sunblock. So they actually have like sunblock. And they have a couple other items that I didn't get because I don't really buy sunblock, but this one looked interesting. Just called the sunblock. It's a solid sunscreen wash. So I was reading about it this morning and you actually put it on in the shower. So you like run this block like over your wet skin and then you kind of like rinse off and pat dry and that's it. So initially I thought this was supposed to be like a lotion, like after you're like when you're in the sun, you just like slather it on. You're supposed to rinse it off. Um, but anyway, so I thought that this one was kind of interesting here, uh, sunblock, and I don't, I had not even heard of this before. I think this line just launched in the UK, and like I said, it, I think there's like three other items that go along with this sunblock kind of line, but I thought that that looked um, definitely interesting. Okay, facial moisturizers. I got another pot here of Gorgeous. This is one that I've used for about a year. I absolutely love it. It's very expensive in uh, the US. It's like $90, but if you buy it over there in the UK... I think it was 40 pounds, which is like $68 or something. It's maybe $70. So it's still expensive, but it's definitely cheaper if you buy it over there in the UK. So I decided to get another one of this because I use it and I really like it. Now, I decided to also pick up a couple other ones. I got this one here, um, British Nanny. This one is only available in the UK. And let's see here. Rich cream with almond and hibis hibiscus oils full of vitamin C and E. And let me see what I think this smells like. Um, my nose is always really bad. It doesn't have too much of a scent, which is good, because I don't think you necessarily need a lot of scent in facial moisturizers. Kind of just like a refreshing, clean scent. Um, I definitely I definitely like it. This one, I think, is supposed to be pretty thick. So this one, I believe, is like better for winter, or maybe if you have really dry skin. I tend to have oily skin, so I don't really know how this is going to work on me. But while I was there, I said I might as well just pick it up and give it a try. Now this next one, so far, I really, really like. And I'm still trying to assess if this is going to make my skin break out or not. So far, it's so good, but I'm not really sure. Million Dollar Moisturizer. Oh, this is also part of the new uh, skincare line that's it's SPF 30. This one, you guys, is amazing. It's thicker than Gorgeous, because Gorgeous is kind of like light and almost kind of foamy in a weird way. This one is thick. It's not as thick as British Nanny. It has a little bit of like shimmer in there, so it's really good during the day. Obviously, it has SPF 30, so this is one that you'd want to use during the day, not the night, and it has a little bit of shimmer in there. Um, they put it on my hand, and I could see it, but when I put it on my face, I couldn't see it as much, and of course, I put makeup on over it, so I think it kind of negates it, but... The main reason I love this one is the smell. Oh my God. Okay, so I have had people talk about this one and on you know online I've been reading reviews and a lot of people say it has a very sweet floral smell. And it does, but you know what this also smells like to me is um, that that face, that new face wash, not the new one, uh, Let the Good Times Roll that has like the honey toffee sticky smell. It also smells like that. So. I don't know if I'm super off because a lot of people say it smells floral. To me, it smells like that toffee smell. It just smells amazing. I put it on and I could smell it for it last. The smell lasts a long time and I love how this one smells. It is just amazing. And I really hope they bring this one to the United States. I don't know when they are. I don't think this one is over here yet. But Million Dollar Moisturizer is absolutely fabulous. If you guys are looking for a good daytime moisturizer that smells amazing, get this one. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. I think that one was 32 pounds. So you're looking at in the UK equivalent, it was like $55, 50 to $55. Um, and of course in the US, it's probably going to be more expensive. So I would not be surprised if that one comes in at around $70 whenever it does come to North America, but it is really, really awesome. 
Okay, since um, I got, you know, I had my Lush Spa treatment, which I absolutely loved. And I know they have Lush Spa now, like I think in Philadelphia and New York City. I really hope they, they expand them. I believe that they are meaning to expand them because that spa experience was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And the soundtrack was amazing. So I got the soundtrack here um, for the spells. So they actually sell the soundtrack for all of the Lush treatments that you can get. And like I said, I would highly recommend this one for anyone that's looking for a treatment that's relaxing where you get to keep your clothes on um, is the really the trick for that one. So I got that there called The Spell. Now for the big ones here at the end. Oh, not the big one. One more thing. I got these here, a couple of temple balms called Dream Time. They had the other one that's like supposed to be energizing. I can't remember what it's called. I bought that one from the UK a long time ago, but I had not seen these yet. These are Dream Time. And like my nose is kind of stuffed up. I was thinking maybe it may have like lavender in it. I'm not getting a whole lot of scent out of it right now because my nose is all jacked up. If I look on the back, it has chamomile oil, jasmine absolute, um, ginger, sandalwood, lavender, and stuff like that. So it has a lot of those like nice, relaxing, bedroom, floral kind of scents. So I decided to get two of these uh, Dreamtime Temple Bombs. They were right up there at the, at the toe, so I just couldn't resist grabbing them. Okay, now for the ones that are probably the most exciting are some of the perfumes. So this is... The first one I got, now they had pretty much, the perfumes there were really amazing because they had almost everything. You know, normally in my Lush shop, they've got, what, like the eight perfumes that are sold everywhere, like Lust, Dirty, um, you know, Karma. I mean, I, and I like them, but they had all these over there that I had seen on the Lush USA site but are not available to buy. Some of these may have been available in like a forum party, I don't remember. But anyways, this first one that I wanted to get was A Thousand Kisses Deep. This one has like mandarin and osmanthus, blossom, myrrh, um, labanum, and musk. Like you guys know, for those of you that follow my channel, you know I'm terrible at describing scents. Some lush people may have come across this video and they're like, why is this girl so stupid? But I, I can't describe scents very well. I can smell the mandarin. Now it does have a very bright citrusy scent. I don't know. This one is just really good. It's citrus and it's floral. So um, that one is really amazing. And I think these bottles you may only be able to get. I don't know if I don't know if you can get this bottle from Lush UK, like if you buy it online or if you can only get this bottle at the pool shop. I think this bottle may be exclusive to pool. But yeah, the perfumes are not the cheapest, 24 pounds for that one. But I think it's just a really beautiful scent. And while I was there, I wanted to pick up some stuff. Um, the next one that I got here was a B scent, like I said, 31 pounds. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the Thousand Kisses Deep. The ingredients must be a little bit more expensive. This one has lemon, bergamot, ylang lang, fennel, jasmine, lavender, sandalwood, and musk. And I love a lot of those types of scents. And I wonder why I love this one. Oh yeah, so I obviously gravitated to the citrusy floral ones because it smells similar to A Thousand Kisses Deep, but this one smells stronger on the lemon kind of scent. It's really, really amazing. Once again, I absolutely love this bottle. I think this bottle is just really, really cute. So got the bee scent. Okay, the next one I got um, is in the the regular old black bottle. And, oh, actually it doesn't even have it on there, but it's right there. This one here is orange blossom because I really do love the smell of orange blossom. Um, this one has orange blossom, neroli, yang, ylang lang, rosewood, sandalwood, and uh, beeswax. Wait, beeswax. Maybe that's not the scent, but... Oh my goodness. This one is just floral all the way. I absolutely just love it. Love it, love it. I love the smell of orange blossom. I think that, what is it, Happy Happy Joy Joy has like orange blossom kind of smell. So it smells similar to that, but a slightly prettier, I would have to say. And I don't think that this one was available in that other type of bottle. And I think you can get this from the Lush UK site like all the day long, um, Orange Blossom. But anyways, I got that one because I knew that one was going to be good. Okay, now the final thing I got is I got a couple of these, uh, the 29 High Street Perfume because you can only buy this at the pool shop. I do not think that this has ever been available in any of the, uh, you know, like the forum parties or anything like that. I could be wrong. But I, I, I figured when I was there, I just needed to get it because I would not be able to get it again. And this is the one that... This scent was the same scent that was in the Secret Santa Ballistic, the one that was actually shaped like the um, pool shop that came out last Christmas in Christmas 2013. And it's supposed to smell like a lush shop. Like when you walk in, you know, like you get that like, oh, that like cacophony of smells. Cacophony, is that even a word? You know, like just all dancing around at the same time and everything like that. So I'm going to spray a spritz over here because my nose is kind of off. So let me, ooh. Oh, that's strong. Hang on, it hurt my eye. <laughs> I put it close, too close, too fast. It 
does smell like a Lush shop. You know like how you get that smell of all the bath bombs together? That's what it smells like. It's like, it's like, it is like a Lush shop. You know, and I have the Secret Santa Ballistic, but I haven't actually used it yet. So I might need to use it. It's really beautiful. I really like this. So I'm glad I got a couple of them. Oh, that's really quite nice. Really, really nice. Oh, okay. So yeah, the 29 High Street Perfume. So that one was probably like the, um, what do you call it? The, the major thing that I wanted to get when I was out there. But I was so excited for all the other perfumes and all of the other products that I got when I was out there. Especially this Million Dollar Moisturizer, you guys, I think is definitely worth looking into when that comes. And like I said, if you're near a Lush Spa, check out the, um, please check it out. I really, really enjoyed it. And at the end, they gave me like, like a cup of water with like some lemon and some seaweed and um, some lemongrass on there. And that tasted so good. The whole experience was just so relaxing and just so amazingly beautiful. All right, you guys, so if you stuck around for the whole video, hey, um, thanks for watching. I hope that if you haven't been to the pool shop, I hope that this kind of gave you a taste of what it was like over there. I so cannot believe that I saw the back of Mark Constantine's head and uh, I saw Rowena standing right next to me at the till and it was just the most amazing experience, like I said. And I really respect them for still working and staying true to their roots and doing what they do um you know and this has kind of restarted my love for lush I st i've always loved lush but i think now i've gotten like it's kind of sparked it up a little bit again so it's going to be fun for me to go back to my local lush shop give them the bag and then see what new products they have there all right you guys so anyways like i said hope you enjoyed watching this i will catch you in the next video bye